So, you think it won't happen to you? Or maybe you just like taking chances. Think again. Take a look at this. It just might change your mind. Oh, wait a minute. Before I begin, I should warn you. I'm not a pessimist. Let's just say I'm a realist. Optimistically looking through the lenses of someone else's glasses. Hold up. You don't take unnecessary risk. Oh, okay. Got it. You're fully insured. Health insurance, auto insurance, home insurance, life insurance, home and auto alarm systems, cameras and self-defense protection gear, a higher education, a good paying job, pension plan, 401k, IRA, stocks and bonds, annuities and mutual funds, savings and checking accounts, a fantastic family and good friends. Okay, hold on. There's nothing wrong with any of that, but life is liquid, precarious conditions, always changing, constant uncertainty, up and downs, good and bad, and sometimes ugly, death by gun violence.
people are killed anywhere and everywhere. It's not safe on roads or streets, schools or place of work, restaurants or grocery stores, at a gas station or sitting in your living room, at a bus station or waiting for an Uber driver. Sacrifice just 10 more minutes and gain eternal life in exchange. God bless you, sir, ma'am. God bless you. How are you today? God bless you. Thank you, sir. Opportunity of a lifetime, people. Right here, salvation for your soul. That's right. You are three-part nature, body, soul, and spirit. Here's what's going to happen, people. Your body will die, but your soul and spirit will live on in eternity. God who created it will recall it back, and here's what's going to happen. You will stand before God in something called the white throne judgment. You want to make sure that you're ready for what happens after you die. But the Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. That's what I'm here to offer you today, the plan of salvation. That's right, God has a plan of salvation for each and every one of you who are willing to hear it. That's right, he that have an ear, let him hear what the Spirit of God is saying unto you today. That's right, people, God want to give you eternal life. That's the life to come. Each and every one of us will die a physical death, but we will live eternity in one or two places, heaven or hell. That is it. That's the only options we have, people. You want to make sure you're ready to meet God on the other side of death. That's right. That's called eternity. But the Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. That's right. 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ went to the cross of Calvary, died a substitutionary sacrifice. That's right, Jesus Christ died for you, sir, and you, man. Why? Because he loves you. That's why he wants to extend the life you have now by giving you the gift of eternal life. That's right, you can have that today. All you have to do is repent of your sins, confess Jesus as Lord and Savior. That's right, make a 180 degree turn and you will find your feet leading your soul on a path towards heaven. That's right, heaven is for the righteous and hell is for the unrighteous. You don't want to go to hell because that's not a boardwalk stroll. That's not a buy. That's not a place where you can buy popcorn, soda pop, or cotton candy, or dip your feet in the ocean. Hell is a place of fire, brimstone, wailing, gnashing of teeth, and outer darkness. You don't want to go there, nor does God want you to go there. Your Creator wants you to be with Him in a place called paradise. And the only way you can get there is through His Son, Jesus Christ. That's right, he is the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world. That's right, Jesus Christ, he who knew no sin became sin for you and I, so that we do not, I repeat, we do not have to live in sin or die as a result of it. The sin question has been answered and the sin debt has been paid. That's right, Jesus Christ paid the debt of sin for each and every one of us. And now it is freely offered to you today. You can have eternal life today in Jesus Christ, which will guarantee you a seat in heaven. That's right, you can be guaranteed a seat in heaven once your body dies. And here's the thing, the Bible says we are pointed to death. Each and every one of us will die a physical death, but then we will live a spiritual life in heaven or hell. That's your option, people. Heaven is for the righteous and hell is for the unrighteous. That's right. You can have your sins washed away, blotted out, never to be remembered ever again by accepting God's plan of salvation, which was through His Son, Jesus Christ. 2,000 years ago, He died a substitutionary sacrifice. He atoned for your sins and my sins. That's right, He became our propitiation. That simply means that God accepted his sacrifice. Why? Because no one else was able to sacrifice their lives for you and I for the forgiveness of sin. But Jesus Christ. That's right, Yahshua HaMashiach. He's the prophesied Messiah who was prophesied to come. And he did just that. He fulfilled that prophecy 2,000 years ago for all humanity. That's right, people. You have an opportunity to live forever in heaven. 
All you have to do is repent of your sins. You say, wherein have I sinned? You were born in sin. Each and every one of us was born in sin and shaped in iniquity. That's right, and we are sinners doomed to a place called hell. But God intervened, that's right, he became the enfleshment, the man, God, in the person of Jesus Christ. He is the visible image of the invisible God, reconciling humanity back to himself. That's who Jesus Christ is and was, and he is the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. Everything created was created by him. That's right, people. Don't live your lives recklessly, aimlessly, or carelessly. Make sure you account for your soul. You are three, part nature, body, soul, and spirit. That's right. You got a soul whether you believe it or not. And your soul is eternal. And it will spend eternity in one or two places. Either heaven or hell. That's the only options we have, people. You want to make sure that your soul will be with God in a place called heaven, paradise, where there is no more dying, crying, pain, sickness, prejudice, racism. All of those things are gone. In heaven, there's peace, love, joy, and happiness. That's for the righteous, those who had their sins washed in the blood of the Lamb. That Lamb is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christus. He is the answer to the sin-sick world in which we live, people. Don't let this opportunity pass you by because you get one life and one life only. That's right, but the Bible says even that life is short, the one that you have. Everything we have is temporary. Our possessions and our lives. So you want to make sure that you have insurance for what is most important, and that is your soul. Your soul should be your priority because that is eternal and it will spend eternity in one or two places people heaven or hell your choice entirely up to you god will not force itself upon you you are free moral agents you can choose to reject him or accept him that's entirely up to you but here's the thing people for every action there's an opposite and equal reaction that's called consequences so as you reject God now and he will reject you at the white throne judgment that's right people you want to make sure you're not rejected by God but accepted by God through his son Jesus Christ the way the truth and the life is very exclusive people Jesus Christ said it himself he is the way the truth and the life no man no woman can come before God the Father except by him He's the only mediator between humanity and God. That's right, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God that taketh away the sins of the world, is here today. That's right, to make all your wrongs go away and help you live a holy life. That's right, God has a standard for living, and it's called holiness. Holiness without no man, no woman shall see God. That's a standard that God requires of our creation, our humanity, and we must live that way. Simply because we not we weren't born just for ourselves, but we were born for God to bring Him glory and honor and to make Him Lord of our lives. That's who we were born for, not for just ourselves, but to please God, our Creator. For you were made in the image and likeness of God. But that image has been marred by transgressions of sin. What is sin? The transgression of God's law. As those sins that are considered destructive, those sins that will keep you out of fellowship with God, those are the things that will keep you out of heaven. And you need to have those things washed away, forgiven, thrown into the sea of forgetfulness. That's what God promises that he will do if any man be in Christ. He is a new creation. Behold, all old things are passed away, and behold, all things become new. That's called being born again. It's a spiritual birth. That's right. Your spirit will be quickened. That simply means awakened, made alive. That's right. And then you can see what I see, which is God for who he is and who the Bible says that he is. Am I asking you to throw up your hands and live in fear? Absolutely not. But I am asking you to throw up your hands and live in faith. Faith in Jesus Christ by confession, repentance, and baptism. 
a life of holiness because he is holy and receive insurance for your soul. Thank you for watching and may God bless you. Amen.